everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you might know, Michael and I recently went on a two and a half week honeymoon to Thailand and the Maldives. And besides the time that I studied abroad in London for one semester, I had never taken a trip this long in my entire life. And it definitely took a little bit of strategizing and organizing up front when it came to packing. So I've received a few requests asking for me to show you how I packed my luggage, so here you go. When it came to packing, I have to be honest with you, I could not have done this without my twin sister, Allie. So she came over to my apartment the day before we left and she sat with me for about four hours helping me. Here was our strategy. So we had an itinerary for the trip, so I pretty much knew ahead of time all of the activities that we had planned and what days of the trip they were planned for. We made four stops in Thailand, Phuket, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, and Bangkok. And from there, we spent five additional nights in the Maldives. I went through this entire itinerary day by day and we picked out outfits for each activity. Some days we had multiple activities like a morning hike and then afternoon touring. So I accounted for each activity scheduled for each day. Keep in mind that I repeated various outfits multiple times on this trip. So on average, two activities a day across 18 days does not mean that I brought 36 different outfits. Also, now that I'm home, I can say with certainty that this was just a rough guideline. So our schedule changed a couple of times. We made some spontaneous decisions on the fly. There were also some things that I couldn't have predicted, like the hotel giving us clothes to wear during the elephant time, since the elephants are used to those colors. I also borrowed Michael's clothes a bunch, so I didn't hold myself to only wearing the clothes that I picked out for that particular day, but it was definitely a useful guideline so that I didn't need to unpack everything in every location. The bags I brought on this trip were two suitcases. These were the away suitcases that I put on my wedding registry. And then one backpack from Dagny Dover, which is a company founded by a fellow Johns Hopkins University female alum. I pretty much put all of my clothing, including shoes, in my bigger suitcase since that's the bag that I checked. Airlines have lost my checked luggage before, so I always try to just keep clothing in there, which is easily replaceable. Whereas if you're carrying any medications or prescription contact lenses or any special items, I would always keep those in your carry-on because if you lose the check bag, you don't want to try to replace those if they're lost. So starting with the big suitcase, you'll see that I packed four pairs of shoes for this trip. And then I basically packed all of my clothing in reverse order. The first destination on top for easy access and then the Maldives clothing on the bottom since I wouldn't need to get to that for a couple of weeks. Packing cubes would have been a really helpful thing here to help keep my items in order, but I did try to put clothing for the first two destinations on one side of the suitcase and then clothing for the other three on the other side, just to keep it organized. And if any outfit was repeated in multiple locations, I made sure that it was placed in the section of the suitcase of the first destination that it would be worn in. I also threw my hairbrush into this bag and I didn't bother bringing a blow dryer because pretty much every hotel we stayed at had one. This is the closest thing I had to packing cubes. There are these three separate bags, one for underwear and bras, one for socks, and one for swimwear. If you don't have these bags, these items are usually pretty easy to just stuff into all of the empty spaces in your suitcase. But as for how many items of each I packed, I threw in 15 pairs of underwear and two bras, 10 pairs of socks, and seven bathing suits. I figured there would potentially be a chance to do laundry at one of our hotels, but we wound up doing it way cheaper and dropping off our laundry at a local wash and fold in Chiang Mai for $11. I packed my big Hello Sunshine hat in this big suitcase too, and I actually took advice from one of my followers on Instagram who DM'd me with an interesting strategy for packing a hat like this. So instead of crunching it in, just keep it in its shape and then put some clothing inside of the head hole. I also always bring my pillow with me when I travel and I can't sleep without my pillow. It's really light and it flattens down to basically nothing, so it's easy to put it in last and then just close the bag on top of it. And now onto the smaller bag. So in the zipper section, I packed some extra contact lenses, my eye mask for sleeping, and then some other items that I'll get to in a minute. On one side of the bag, you'll find my toiletries organizer. So I've used this for a couple of years now. It's the absolute best thing for travel. I didn't bring much on this trip by way of toiletries. So on the top, you'll see my toothbrush, tongue scraper, and the only dental floss that seems to work with my teeth. <laughs> the middle section has some Q-tips, pimple cream, and a headband. And in the bottom section, I have my face oil and sunscreen. 
I didn't bring the retinol cream that I typically use on my face at home because that's not the best thing to use after going in the sun. And in fact, these are the main products that I brought on this trip for my skin. Number one, my Meow Meow Tweet sunscreen. Number two, my Crude Cleanse Oil for taking off makeup and also moisturizing my face. And also some organic sesame oil, which I use on my body after I shower. My makeup bag is in here too. I actually did not wear very much makeup at all on this trip, but I did forget to pare it down before I left, so I basically brought everything that I typically use at home, and it's all inside this blue little bag. And this gray bag has something very special in it, so as their wedding present to us, my twin sister and her boyfriend gave me and Michael this memory book to take on our honeymoon with us to write down all of our adventures in. They also gave us an instant camera, some film, a glue stick for pasting photos into the book, and then this awesome painting set for painting on the go. Every time we took a flight on our trip, so going from Phuket to Chiang Mai, or from Chiang Rai to Bangkok, or from Bangkok to the Maldives, I sat on the plane, decorated the book, pasted the photos in, and painted a little bit, so now it's all saved forever inside this book. Also on this side of the bag, I put my curling iron, which I wound up using one time on the trip. And now for the other side. I have a baseball hat, a fanny pack, and a purse. And then, as I mentioned, I try to keep items that are more difficult to replace than clothing in my carry-on bag. So in mine, you'll find my medicine bag, my GoPro camera for underwater shots, and my handheld iPhone gimbal. I decided not to bring my heavy camera or any loose lenses with me on this trip, so I just filmed everything with my iPhone. I changed the camera quality to 4K, and I think the footage looks great. Also, devices like this gimbal make the footage a lot smoother because usually when I'm filming with my hands, it can get a little bit shaky. Michael and I also packed our mini drone. This is the DJI Mavic Air, and we got some awesome footage throughout the trip. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that our drone actually crash landed in Phuket, but thankfully we had insurance on it, so we were able to get another one really quickly. So now onto my backpack. The front zipper pocket carried my passport and my wallet as well as a non-toxic vegan lip butter. Of course, my reusable water bottle was tucked into the side pocket, and then I had hand sanitizer on the other side. I normally use an essential oils hand sanitizer that's not as harsh because this type tends to dry me out, but I ran out and this was the only option at the airport. And in the main section of the backpack, I put all of my electronics in one clear bag. Very easy to see and easy to access everything. So this included all of my chargers, travel adapters, my Apple Watch, my hard drive, and my earbuds. I also wanted to read a lot on the honeymoon, but I didn't want to carry books, so Michael's mom let me borrow her Kindle for the journey. I preloaded about four books onto it before we left. Michael, on the other hand, brought five physical books with him. He clearly didn't mind being weighed down, and in his defense, he finished four out of the five on the trip. Also in the backpack, I put two glasses cases, one with two pairs of sunglasses in it and one for my regular glasses. I also brought an aluminum-free deodorant with me, which was very important to keep in my backpack on the plane with me because I always start to sweat during travel. Next, my pencil case and my journal for some daily journaling my 2020 planner for habit tracking, and also so that I could use our 18 hour flights to do some organizing. And then in the very back of the backpack, there's another zipper pocket and I put my computer in there. And I didn't use this to do work or check emails throughout the trip. I was just using it to offload all of our photos and videos onto my external hard drive along the way. Because I was using my cell phone for everything, I just didn't wanna risk breaking my phone and then losing all of our digital memories. So I definitely offloaded footage and video at pretty much every destination. I used mostly sustainable and reusable bags for all of this packing. The only plastic bag that I brought was for my large bottle of sesame oil because I really didn't want it to crack in the suitcase and ruin all of my clothing. So if you have any suggestions for a zero waste option for something like this, please comment down below. I hope you found this video interesting and that you're inspired to pack neatly for your next travel journey wherever you're headed. Let me know your biggest packing tips in the comment section and I'll see you next time on YouTube.